This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and I am not in the studio in Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I am in a hotel room in Las Vegas in this wonderful draperiness of a Holiday Inn that I think is being remodeled here very shortly. Uh, but anyways, I still wanted to put in a show for you guys. Uh, we're actually, uh, I'm going on vacation for a couple days. I don't know when's the last time I did this, really. Probably a couple years ago. Maybe, sort of. Uh, but we're going to try to detach and that includes doing something on Tuesday night. And, uh, but I want to make sure you guys had something going on here. And of course there's a few interesting things that happened on my travels. So I thought we'd talk about that and it's kind of a, uh, a quasi awesome things of the week, uh, going on here. Uh, first of all, uh, please of course check out everything at awesomecast.com. Please hit us up on the email address, awesomecast.sorgatronmedia.com. And of course, please follow us on the Facebook. Facebook page where we are live every Tuesday night except for this one at 7 p.m. Eastern time uh, and some version of that if we're of course on the you know on you know traveling like we're doing and uh, I think wait I did I put my studio no my studio is actually at a recording tonight as we're recording this and so I couldn't even have somebody sit down and like produce the show as we have in the way we, we, we kind of did that last week without uh, some of the parts but anyways that's not important i'm rambling because it's really late also uh you can follow us all your all your youtubes and uh follow us on the podcast and please and I, and I hope my squeaky chair isn't isn't <laughs> picking up on the microphone we'll find out later um thank you to our patreon supporters matt weller john diggy decor uh john carmen cynthia klosky and scott mctaggart and at the fan of the show level our friends michael fedor pghmuseums.org and professor buzzkill and dave potter and you guys are supporting the show and thank you so much for doing that at patreon.com slash awesome cast um so first of all i wanted to talk about a little bit um of course i'm out here of course last week i, uh, I was in studio after doing auto drive up in uh, ann arbor michigan uh this week it was formula sae uh, we are out here in Las Vegas on the uh, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, which looks like a relatively newer speedway um, for Formula, first Formula of the year. Um, of course, the first one, you know, in two years, 2019 would have been the last ones in uh, Nebraska and Michigan. We're, of course, going to Michigan in a couple of weeks here. But in the meantime, there was a couple, got to actually witness a few things. One thing that's cool about uh, typically when we go out here west with Formula, uh, there's a lot of, uh, we'll say Elon Musk companies, I guess, uh, <laughs> when we were closer to it, you know, a lot of them are in California, of course, as I'm learning and even talking to some of them, um, of course, everybody seems to be uh, relocating to, uh, Texas with their operations, whatever that may be. So I actually got, you may have seen the picture on my social media, uh, go follow Sorgatron on just about everywhere. And you'll probably see the picture anywhere. We're doing still photos, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, but, uh, they got, I, I met I met some folks from the Boring Company. If you're not familiar, this is the company that was going to that that has they're digging tunnels underneath the cities to make high speed transit possible. And uh, they caught my attention because they had the flamethrower. Just randomly, they just started selling a flamethrower. Um, you know, and and then their job is to bore holes. They're the Boring Company. That's the joke. Thanks, Elon. Uh, but no, actually, I had a great discussion. I had a lively kind of conversation with the Boring Company, and uh, and and I didn't know how much they were actually doing. Like I thought this was kind of a theoretical thing, and this, and like they're like, no, we have tunnels. They have a tunnel that they did here in town, and then I believe I shared over on the uh, Awesome Cast uh, Facebook group. You know, check that out. There's a great video actually from um, from CNET from I think earlier this month. In June. So they opened the tunnel. I think it's something like a mile underneath the convention center. You can only go to it if you're there for a convention. So I guess for CES when that comes here, because also realizing this is where CES happens is this town, typically, I think. Um, 
so it was it, i realized that as i was driving by the convention center and again yeah, i've driven about everywhere but uh so they've they've bored these holes they they bored this hole here uh on las vegas and we talked about that i was like didn't you don't you guys have like like the cars come down and they cut they, they load on these sleds and that's what's going to move people through the holes it's gonna be high speed and they're like yes we over engineered that so instead it's teslas Ideally, eventually, the Teslas will be automated to go through the tunnels. But for the time being, as they open these in the recent months, um, the Teslas have drivers. So it's more like an underground Uber, I guess. So, uh, but so it was, it was it was fun to kind of have a conversation with them and talk about that and realize that they were actually had something functionally happening right now. Um, also had the opportunity because again, it's SpaceX is here. I've had a great conversation with. You know, there's always uh, um, you know uh, judges and 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 volunteers uh, from Tesla and SpaceX that you run into when we do these events out west. And uh, and 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 Tesla actually had a really big presence. There had have been like six seven eight teslas uh on just around and uh so they hosted a demo just i think in the last week here they announced the uh model s plaid uh for uh tesla and uh we got to see it in action again another video that's over there on the awesome cast uh page so uh go or uh, the awesome cast facebook group of course and that i shared from uh from my account um but uh yeah we just got it it's it's something that goes like 200 miles an hour uh it's like you know one of those super speedy models that they're doing um i don't know if it's like an upgrade so it's a model s plaid so i think it's like an upgrade kit i'm not clear on that didn't get to dive into it but i got to see it go really 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 fast um also a fun thing because uh you know there's no motor you know so you lift up the engine and there's just all this room here and that's where they put the snacks for the kids it was like a car show when we drove up to it it was like if you look at the pictures it feels like fast and the furious but with teslas with everybody kind of car showing around with it and getting ready for somebody to race and go really fast so um the other fun thing was that of course you know these are formula students they're design they're literally designing these cars uh to go out in the track and uh they're looking at it and i'm watching a group of the kids looking at it and they're just like look under it he's like it's flat it's it's like air, it's like crazy arrow right um talking about the design and the guy has, looks, looks behind under it underneath the car and just like yeah it's like a matchbox car so i never thought about that with the teslas so that that's a bit of the um, technology and stuff that I'm experiencing out here. Of course, driving around the strip and uh, seeing all those wild screens that they have going on uh, on the sides of buildings. It's 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 crazy. Like almost anywhere you're at, you can see it in the distance uh, in the daytime and the nighttime. Um, so that's that's it's kind of interesting. It's just like it's always just kind of looming in the distance uh, around here. Um, otherwise, that I don't like Vegas. I really don't. I found some good stuff to do. Went to the Hoover Dam. Went to a wrestling show. Uh, but other than that, like Vegas as a whole, I don't, I don't have, I don't think I'm coming back for a vacation or anything like that. So, um, in other kind of uh, short awesome things, hey everyone, it's Dutters, and here is my awesome thing of the week. And I'm going analog. I am a big plant lover. I have several plants in my house, outside my house, just all over the place. And one of my biggest pet peeves are gnats, are those little annoying gnats that you end up getting in your plants and then they just never go away and they just multiply and they're in every one of your plants and then your plants die and you're very sad. But I recently found a solution that I really like and it looks like this. Ta-da! It's just this little double-sided sticky thing that uh, I found on Amazon and it's you can see a few a little dead gnats on there. But I put these in a few of my plants and it catches a bunch of the nets and they come in a 24 pack in two different designs. Uh, there is a butterfly design and there's also the flower design and they're real easy to use. You just pull one out, just peel off the sticky side on each side, stick them in a plant like I did and that's it. And I have noticed a significant decrease in the number of gnats I have in my plants. And my plants are much ha happier and healthier. Uh, like I said, I got them on Amazon. Uh, 24 of them right now are $5.94 with Prime. Highly recommended. Um, I'll give you guys the link. Hey, awesome cast fans. So we thought we would come to you. I have been on the show before. But longtime listener, first time caller, Steve 
is on with me tonight. Um, he's usually in the audience in the chat rooms talking, but we thought we would submit an awesome thing of the week in lieu of today's U.S. Open and Father's Day. When we're recording this, we thought we would bring up a really cool kind of tech gift that I gave to you yes. for your birthday. But I know dads, like everywhere, any golfer is really going to love this. And it's so tacky. It's so neato. Um, I'm going to let you go ahead and talk about it. I'm going to be the Vanna White hand model. So for those of you that know me through Awesome Cast, I'm not that big of a tech nerd. Um, I barely use my phone to its fullest capability. But I have a cool app on here with these guys, the Arcos. Um, this is for golf. Uh, it's, you got a little screw right here that goes in and it goes into the end of your golf clubs right there right so <laughs> what this does is it screws into the end of the golf clubs and it tracks each and every shot you have tracks your distance uh tracks your direction it goes based off the gps there is a fun handy dandy little app you download with the Arcos Caddy, and it comes up, and right now it's finding the closest golf course to me, which is going to come up to be Mount Lebanon, since it's like right up the road. It also says my home course, because I play there a lot. Uh, but this goes ahead, and so with my activity, it tracks all my rounds all the way through and keeps my scores for me, so I don't have to worry about the little pencils. Uh, <laughs> also... You can track your stats on your last round, and it gives you everything from driving distance, approach distance, short game putting, um, your length uh, off the tee. Uh, it gives you greens and regulation, uh, average approach distance, up and downs, which is an up and down for those of you that aren't golfers, is uh, you're chipping off the, uh, on the green and you make the next putt, uh, and so forth. Gives you round highlights uh, with um, 10 foot putts, driving penalties, 200 plus yard approach distance, uh, scoring analysis. It keeps my handicap for me, which is really nice. And, uh, also with my clubs, it pairs with my clubs. And I'm not sure if you can see on the video, but it has the, the screen. The top one is your driver, which of course is going to be your longest club. And it has my average distance is 226 yards off the tee. But if I click on it, it will tell me that my longest drive was 309 yards and my shortest drive was 206 yards. But my average is um, 226 to 265. Um, now, Amanda did purchase this for me for my birthday, which is in winter. So I didn't get to play with it a lot until March. Uh, for those of you that know anything about golf, temperature has a thing about how far your ball carries. So now it's getting warmer outside, a little hotter outside. The ball carries a lot more, so I'm going to get uh, my distances are going to get longer, and I'm going to have to adjust my game that way. And uh, with this, and it shows like right there, currently I'm sitting at a 10.1 handicap, which is an average um, of about 84 uh, total on a par 72 course, uh, which is, I think, pretty well. I'm not good enough that my friends won't play with me, so... <laughs> That helps a lot because people are like, oh, you're too good. You're just going to beat my ass. Why should I play with you and waste 50 bucks on the golf course? But anyway, um, it's very easy to, uh, to use with the app. Um, you go through and it has um, – whenever you go through, you have all your different clubs. And also, after you play five rounds, uh, it gives you the caddy option. I can't bring that up right now because I'm not on the course. But – it gives you the caddy option, so you keep your phone in your front left pocket, leading pocket, and this is how it's going to track it. It also works with the Apple Watch. I have had issues uh, of it working with the Apple Watch itself because uh, I'm running a Series 3. Um, it suggests to have a Series 5 or better, but it does work on the Series 3. Um, it's just not as proficient uh, that I found yet. You can also purchase... Through Arcos, they make a belt clip that you clip it on the left side of your body, or if you're a left-handed player, the right side of your body, that it will work through a belt clip as well. 
And then that way you don't have to have your phone in your pocket the whole round. Sometimes it gets a little uh, jumbled and annoying at times. But for the most part, I haven't had any issues with it. After the round, it asks you how your round went. Does it miss shots? Did it track everything properly? Um, I have had a few issues. Um, Arcos is very good about getting back to you by email and asking what, and then they can tell you how to correct the problem. Like this one right here is a sensor that wasn't working, but they told me how to correct it. So now I just have to go ahead and reconnect it to the club I had it in and then um, reset it back up into my um, diagnostic setup here on the phone. They're very good with that. They're very responsive. Um, this set um, averages about $180 to $200, depending on where you purchase it. You can purchase it at the Apple Store, uh, where Amanda picked it up for me uh, for my birthday. You can purchase it at um, Dick's Sporting Goods, I believe, Golf Galaxy. You can purchase online up through Amazon. Also, um, they are sponsored by Ping, which is a um, very you know, well-known set of clubs in golf. Um, Ping was running a special for a while that if you purchased uh, the new Ping driver, you got a set for free. Uh, if you purchased a whole set of Ping golf clubs, um, you got a set for free and a full uh, year's membership. So the year membership is $100. Um, I believe it's $100 well spent and helps correct um, a lot of shots in my game and show me where I'm, where I need to um, definitely work on and get back into and, and, and track my shots, track my distances. I've definitely bettered my score since having these. Um, I have only had one issue where I couldn't find a course. Uh, that's because I was not in Wi-Fi at the time. Um, but other than that, I usually set it up the day before I go. I set the course in, to, w whatever course I'm playing, I'll set it in the phone before I leave the house. That way it's already in there and I will, it'll come up whenever I'm not in Wi-Fi. Um, I really like it. It's one of the best techie purchases that you've made for me that I use. Um, really cool system. Uh, the only thing is that I wish it would work on a driving range more. Uh, but the problem is, is since it is based off the GPS, you have to change your position on the course. That's why it, it tracks it that way. It's pretty accurate. I have other friends that have other, um, golf apps that they use to track distance and to track shots and so forth. Um, the distance is within a yard or two. Uh, I played my buddy Pete. He has a, he has a, a, a golf watch he purchased that was like $250. And him and I are within a yard or two of each, um, what his says and what mine says. Um, the caddy option is really nice. When you click the caddy option, it will um, lay out the hole for you and tell you where you want to lay up, where your best club is. Uh, for those of you who golf, you don't always hit a driver off a 500-yard par 5 because of the way it turns or you want to lay up or uh, different uh, traps out there, whether it be water or sand or just out of bounds in general. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, I thank Amanda for the purchase uh, for my birthday. It's helped me out a lot. It's one of the uh, few techie things I use most of the time. And uh, it also works uh, with Samsung uh, products as well. Uh, Samsung watches and so forth. So it's not just Apple based, uh, but I like it a lot. And it, it's definitely helped <laughs> uh, the golf game. And now that we're getting into uh, peak golf season here, you know, mid June, hopefully I'll get out uh, and be able to play a lot more mm -hmm. and uh, get more uh, readings and more numbers on it. Okay. So, so let's show them some really cool features that I know off the top of my head. Um, can you show what it looks like on a golf course? Can you bring that up post game yes. play? Yes. Yes. So I have to do because um, <laughs> this is actually really cool that it will show like it showed kind of like yeah. So go ahead and take that up to the camera. Um, so this is pretty cool. Let's hope it stays in focus. Yeah. There you go. So you can see the lines there. So describe what those lines are. So those lines are uh, where my ball uh, went from. Uh, uh, from each shot, so and what and what, and what position and what, and what club I use. Okay. Um, so this one here is um, I bogeyed the hole. It's number one at Hickory Heights, or sorry, it's number ten at Hickory Heights. I played uh, played there last week, uh, earlier this week actually. And um, number number ten is a downhill 
dog leg left, par five, 600 yards, and you get a pond up the right side of it. It's a pain in the asshole, especially for somebody that fades like me compared to a uh, draw. But um, driver went 269 yards, and so I hit off the driver, then it tracks from my next shot. So my driver went 269 yards. My next shot was a five wood. It went 231 yards to in front of the green where I chipped on with my sand wedge, which is actually this club right here. Uh, it's a 55 degree uh, wedge for 73 yards. And then I did what every golfer does is three putt and, <laughs> you know, ended up with bogey. It's really cool that it tracks your shots and tracks your yardage. And then we have hole number 11. You also have a satellite view of the yeah. actual thing. So you can go, the actual hole, so you can right. go back and see where you want to adjust next time. If yep. you want to do something different the next time you play that same course. And also, uh, while you're in app usage, you can enlarge or make smaller and then see exactly, I can tap while I'm in there, how far out the sand trap is on the right side of the fairway. You know, like, hey, will my driver reach that far? Yes or no? Do I have to worry about getting in the trap? And so forth. It gives you all the yards um, and so forth. Uh, let's find a good hole. Oh, here's a birdie hole. Yeah. So this is hole 13. Um, I ended up with um, three shot. Driver went 243. Seven iron in went 151. And one putt. So... That was uh, really cool there. Like Again, it gives you the aerial view, and then I can zoom in. I can't do it too much now because the round's over, uh, but you can zoom in to see how far uh, you are from. Or if your ball's in a tree. Or if your ball's in a tree, like happened today in the PGA Tour. <laughs> the U.S. Open. You know? So the coolest thing about this was, was, it, it was that it wasn't that hard to set up, right? No. Because you were, like, not a tech person. Right. I'm an uber tech person. Um, so what it is, so it's very, it, there is this quick start guide and it's literally six steps. It's download the app, attach the sensors, pair them using the camera on your phone and then launch, um, it, which is basically pick the course you're going to play. Mm -hmm. And then that's it at the end of the game. It analyzes what you, how your game went. Yeah. So basically whenever you, you pair your clubs, also when pairing your clubs, um, let me get back to that. You can name which club it is, too, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so, so. It, it, so it asks you, um, right here, where does it say? It says it somewhere on here. So, yeah, so like, it gives you a breakdown of where your misses are at. See, my misses are all right, for the most part. Um, breakdown of, you know, short or long, uh, right and left. Uh and then, name, and then you put in what clubs you're using. Like mine is a uh, TaylorMade R7 draw setup driver. And then I have uh, TaylorMade 5 wood. I have all TaylorMade irons and an Odyssey putter. Uh, the one thing I did find out that um, with your putter grip, if you have a super stroke, it has a metal inside in the tip of the putter that these will not go into. Um, I had, um, so I had to get a different putter, uh, other people in the, so there's also an Arcos Facebook group that people talk about the systems, uh, and how they work. Some people said, just cut this off and then super glue it onto your putter. It worked fine. Uh, I just went and got a new grip on my putter that it would go into. Um, I wasn't married to that grip. Um, but it works out. And uh, also with the, um, I also found out that if you don't have your putter connected, it won't read any of your clubs. So, and it says that right in that little guy, mm -hmm. yeah. that if your putter is not connected, it will not read any of your clubs. So you can't just have these on your driver and a handful of irons. You actually have to have one on your putter for it to work. Um, Amanda bought me the full set of 14. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 is the number of clubs you're allowed to have in your bag. Um, for legal golf. Um, I know guys that carry 20, but, you know, here and there, I don't get bent out of shape over it. It's totally a fun system. It works uh, very well. Uh, you can manage uh, everything. It, it greens and regulation, usage. How It shows you how often you use each individual club. 
uh, what your yardage was for each shot with it. Um, you know, because also I, I, I get a little bit out of shape. I'm like, because there's times in golf where you're using, like I use my two hybrid to punch out of somewhere. I'm like, well, that's going to screw up my distance rating on there because I'm only using it to punch out 50 yards or so forth where the club's rated for 220. Um, but, I mean, that's all part of it. So it, it, don't get that out of shape if you're like, oh, my distance is so low uh, or whatnot. But it's not necessarily about distance. You know, it's try for show and putt for dough. Um, but... All right, so to wrap up, so everybody else has time. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have, so where you can get it. So, again, it works on Apple devices, Google devices, which is Android. Um, it can work with Apple Watch Series 2 <laughs> and above or iPhone 5S and above. Um, but you said in, on the 3, it's a little laggy. Um, so just it also FYI, might, it also might be because I play golf right-handed, but I'm naturally left-handed and I wear my watch on my right. It, hand, that's a good right it also hand. depends on where your phone is. Cause you yeah. don't have the cellular watch. There's all yeah. a bunch of stuff that plays in that. I'm um, also reading over the wearables, all Android wear and Samsung wearables also work with it. Um, for a complete list of wearables, you can check out the website. And again, purchasing these, I got them from Apple online. Don't know if there are many of the stores. Some of them you can do an in-store pickup or go grab them at the store. I would look online first to see that. Um, just because there are a few different golf ones that Apple sells. Um, so this is definitely uh, one of them. Um, the website is arcarosgolf.com. So A-R-C-C-O-S-G-O-L-F.com. Um, that will kind of go through what they do and everything like that. There's other places to purchase like Amazon um, and or some Dick's Sporting uh, Dick's and Golf Galaxy. Golf Galaxy Golf uh, you can also, you said that they were giving them away when you purchased. If you purchase certain ping clubs, ping uh, the new ping the driver sets. and then sets and so forth. Uh, with the driver, they were giving away the set, but you still have to pay for the year membership which is $100. Which I had a year included in my purchase. Yep. So my purchase through the Apple Store, uh, Apple store was one year was included the first year. So um, I thought that was cool. Um, but that's about it. We just thought this was really cool for Father's Day and kind of like golf season's gearing up. Um, that was our um, awesome thing of the week. We just got done watching the US Open. Congratulations to John Rahm. Um, on the win and uh yeah because he's probably watching yeah totally john rom is watching <laughs> awesome cast. all right guys thank you you guys are awesome take care enjoy it i just want to give a, a quick mention uh one thing following up uh, the xbox x cloud situation um so we, we, you know, we've been following the xCloud uh, streaming situation, of course, you know, myself being a big fan of the NVIDIA Geoforce. By the way, barely any internet here. Like, I am in a dead spot here in my room. Fine if I'm out front of the hotel. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the, the Wi-Fi just, this, this isn't getting uploaded tonight. Let's just, just put it that way. I'm hoping, hoping I'm going to have some good Comcast internet to do this uh, when I get to California tomorrow. Uh, but anyways... That's here nor there. Uh, so they're also touting with xCloud that this is this was, uh, uh, I think, something that was said um, kind of offhandedly during their presentation that somebody d dived into. Uh, quote, for the millions of people who play on Xbox One consoles today, we're looking forward to sharing more about how we will bring many of these next-gen games, like Microsoft Flight Simulator, exciting, uh, to your console and Xbox Cloud Gaming. So the idea is apparently is just like you were streaming to your iphone to your tablets to your your mobile i'm sorry your desktop uh browser device um apparently x cloud will also stream directly to your xbox so ideally you will be able to play series x games according to this article on the verge um on your original xbox one hardware or somewhere anywhere in between exciting for me because i own an original xbox hardware <laughs> so 
looking forward to see how that kind of turns out. So, I mean, that's just a couple of the awesome things. Again, I just didn't want to leave you guys without a show this week. So even if it's a truncated, just me rambling version of it, uh, thank you so much, uh, everybody that does tune in the show. Of course, we'll be back to full capacity. Yes, the, the social distancing of me being 2,000 miles away will end next week. Uh, so please go check uh, out the show. We will be back in live, and I'm sure I want to try to rope in some guests by then. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, you have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.